I came back to the Olympia and that's the first time I got second to Ronnie Coleman. And that's the first time ever in my career I realized I could actually win the Mr. Olympia competition. <laughs> Big Chris. <laughs> You're late, brother. What's up, brother? What What's up? How Good to see you, man. Yeah, man. In Vegas. In Vegas. At the Lair. I, I love a, it. I had dinner with, I had an early, late lunch, early dinner with Jay yesterday. I heard, I heard. It was nice, awesome. It was good times, man. It's awesome. Justin? You're late. <laughs> Hi, Tara. You got that one, somebody. Yeah, yeah. Pas de Patrice. Il vient pas? Ah, je l'ai pas vu encore. Ah, si, si, normalement, il vient. Yeah. You good? Yeah. Yeah. As well as we can, yeah. What are we training today? Arms. With Psycho Fitness. There you go. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. How long has it been since you guys have been training? Uh, I mean, a couple of days ago, but since uh, no, 2019, that. two years. Big deal, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. How many days are we from uh, your, your show? Uh, three weeks. Three and weeks? Three weeks. Three weeks and one day. Okay. It's going to be actually exactly a month after Sean's passing. Okay. The same day, so. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What are we training today? Arms. Arms? All right. <laughs> All right. I don't know about you guys, but it was a really fun for me today. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of old, old memories. It know? was a blast from the yeah. past. Oh yeah, it was great. Yeah. Well, like Chris. I was telling you, except uh, aside from Sean, is the person I'm the most used to train with. So yeah. there's a lot of automatism and yeah, yeah. I, I know Stan's body, and uh, we work really well together. I like the way we can work together without really speaking. Like we kind of just know what to do every day. <laughs> and you know, it's, it's kind of like uh, I think Sean. This is what Sean would have wanted. I know he's smiling down on us right now. <laughs> yeah. I know, Chris, you, you kind of just hit me up as you came to Vegas uh, unannounced uh, last minute, like Thursday night. I was like, oh my God, what are you doing here? And next thing I know, I saw him on your story training together, so I was really excited. And of course, I wanted to get you guys on GTV. Uh, I, mean, I can't even remember last time we filmed together. Wow. When was it? Do you remember, Chris? I mean, probably like 2019. 2019? Yeah. Like, like shortly after was... the Olympia, right? Like. Well, I know after... Did we shoot after the Olympia? Well, after the Olympia we did. I know in, in January 2019 we, we shot something with Regan, the two of us. It's been Michigan. a while. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. So tell me, how, how was it uh, to... I mean, obviously you trained with him a, a couple of days ago again, uh, before this. But how was it to train with, with Chris again today after all these uh, years? It was great. Like, you know, he knows how to get the most... Like, I push myself, but uh, Chris always gets a couple more reps out of me. Yeah. And, like, now my arms are completely smoked. Like, I, I miss that. Yeah. And I was looking at old pictures, like, 2018. My, it was my, my arms were actually bigger than my shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, Chris really knows how to... to I mean, every, everybody part, but me and my arms are definitely something that's uh, a little behind compared to the rest. And uh, Chris always knew how to, uh, to, to hit them right. Chris, why did you come to Vegas? Was there a reason? Well, Stan uh, and Sean and myself, we have been texting back and forth, trying to coordinate something. Really? You know, I, yeah, we've been texting for how long? Like, like, Since at least uh, before the USA. Yeah, before the USA, we were talking about it, and we agreed. But Stan said, "Oh, well, you're opening your gym. You're going to be busy." And I go, "No, I'm not going to be busy." But then it turns out he was right. I was like really busy. So it just so happens that I, my plan was to come in and surprise him and Sean today because I have a client, I have a couple of clients in the show and I was going to pop in and then 
But I'll tell him like that. And I didn't I didn't put it on training stand, but I came in and see him and he was working out and it was just like <laughs> and I could, I, you couldn't I, help yourself. I couldn't help myself. I'm like, I'm like and I just jumped in, and it was like, you know, it was like, just like riding a bike. It just, it just flowed back and stuff. This is not good for me, man. You gotta give me some notice. You can't just hit me up. I'm here. I'm like, ah, shit. Because I really want to. We really want to get you. Want talk a little bit about your gym, Chris? Because I know you mentioned that before. You had told Jay and I that you're. you're Opening your own gym, right. you found a location. Right. You're actually right. gonna do it because right now, last time I saw you, I went to your house and we right. did a video with uh, Ron Gordon. Ron Gordon, right. that's right. right there. He was just about to compete, looked great. Right. And so now you actually graduated from, and you did a great job with the garage, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Thank um, you. So you decided to open your own gym. Tell me a little bit about it. Okay, well, it's called Cycles Body Shop for my love for cars and the human body. And uh, I wanted a place where basically what you're just gonna see in the video, you saw in the video. Just that high intensity, turn the corner, uh, 10 weeks out from the show, trying to change. It could be all season two, but it's for people that are ready to make that change. It's not somebody sitting on the recumbent bike reading the Wall Street Journal. It's not the place for that. It's a place where you go to change. And uh, dude, Rod sparked it. I got in the garage and I really liked the feel of it and my own music like that. And then I made a trip out here to get a feel for Flex's gym. Because I always liked what I saw when he was in uh, Florida. And I came out here and I said, this is it. Like, like this is this 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 is what I want. With the concept. You I like the concept. concept. I like the concept. I like the intensity. I like it. When you walk into a gym like this, you can feel, you can feel it. Like you can, you want you come here to train. You can feel it, and that that's what I'm trying to create in uh, Redondo Beach, California. That's so, what I'm so it's Redondo Beach. Redondo you have a, you have a date for the grand opening, or it's going to be January 8th. Boom. Yours truly, Jay Cutler, will be present. Yes. Ending. Uh, we're gonna get Stan Moore down and a few other people. It's between, like my, it's between like, your birthday and my birthday. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> we would love to be there. Oh yeah, yeah. So, uh, I mean, Jay has supported me throughout the years, and I was not gonna do the grand opening until the day he gave me a date that he's available to do it. And uh, he gave me a date yesterday, so January eighth, Body <laughs> Shop will be open. So, I love that. Thank you. That's awesome. That's such a great project, and I think it's gonna work awesome. Did, are you building the whole thing yourself? Because I know you're great I, with your I hands. Built, I built the whole thing myself. I designed it my whole thing myself. It's wow. going to be really, really nice. Uh, it's like upper scale, but with the same type of feel as, as like a dirty, grungy type gym, but just really pretty. So, and I, I wanted something nice for people to come out and shoot videos and too, and inspire others. So everything's color matched, new floors, new walls, new lighting. Everything, everything's really nice. Stay the there. No, <laughs> no, I, that is that is a key. So I don't want to tell too much, but it will be cars in the gym. All right. It well, we're going to be there for the grand I opening. Did, so. did you, know? ah, you, you blow you up. That's the whole secret. <laughs> no, I, I didn't tell you this. No, no, he just knew. He I'm just not knew. hearing this. It's no, going to stay there. Just, he just knew. He, well, he knows me. He knows I me know, very well. So we would drive to Oxnard, and he would be on the phone, ordering car parts. Yeah. No, not that part. This part. Not that part. This part. <laughs> Multitasking. I mean, you know, like spending six hours a day together for yeah. like months. Yeah. Yeah. So, wow. Um, Talk to me a little bit about uh, what's been happening, you know, with Sean and everything. Stan, I'm sure you've been going through a lot. I saw you both on RX's uh, video, which I actually, I never watch RX's stuff, but I actually yeah, watched that one because all Sean's friends were on it. And, and of course, you two and a guy and uh, Brad and Chris Acido. I thought it was really good. Um, how has it been uh, since this happened? Are you okay? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's easier now. Like, I mean, for me, uh, the. T the I mean, the first time I didn't sleep all night for, I don't know, years when that happened because it was a Friday night, so a week ago, just over a week ago now. And um, yeah, it was, uh, I didn't sleep at all until maybe, I think I fell asleep around noon for maybe an hour on Saturday. Uh, and then uh, my girlfriend flew in at night and then a few couple of days later, Sean's brother came in town. So that was nice to have, you know, people in the house and around. I'm glad you had some company. Yeah, because uh, definitely like being alone there, it's the it, tough. Huh? It's just weird. Yeah, it's just, I'm not. I'm just. I know really, I know Sean is always there, you know. <laughs> so it's just really hard not uh, to be there by myself. Are it's, you gonna be okay? Because I know your girl's going back to Chicago I today, and <laughs> his brother left. And yeah, we take it day by day. Uh, but definitely, you know, there, all this stuff is there. Like. In, well, every day, I've been wearing uh, at least one piece of his clothes, uh, in memory of him, and. Um, I, I'm 
you know, sustained focus. I have a show in, um, in three weeks. And you're still doing the show? I yeah, was wondering if you're going to keep doing the show. Wow. Well, that's that's what Sean would hate if he didn't do well yeah. at the show. So, so no excuse. Um, I know Patrick, if he's watching that, my coach Patrick Chiora, I've been a little bit in my <laughs> But I'm, I'm grinding, I'm saying I'm dead, I'm doing all the training. I'm, I'm sure he understands. Of, I'm just, you know, with a lot of things we had to do, uh, you know, with Sean's brother and stuff. And, uh, yeah. But I'm, I'm doing the work, uh, I'm not missing any meal, I'm going to work out, any cardio, any minutes of it, I'm doing everything, and I'll be ready. And it'd be exactly, uh, it's funny, because I think Toronto, the money is Saturday, but somehow it's Sunday, so it's on the 5th. You know, exactly a month after Sean's passing, so it kind of a, I don't Weird, know, it's huh? all these numbers, like, yeah. kind of like, you know, for me, it was the day he passed, it, exactly eight years I've been in the States. That's that day, crazy. The, you know, the memory of how I got to Gold Gym a couple days before, you know, me and you, Sean, uh, Jay, I mean, it just, yeah, well, it was actually, you know, it was bringing out memories and, uh, and this just like, yeah, it was just a lot, a lot, a lot all at once, but, um, I mean, I'm glad I got you know, the chance to share so many time, so much time with him, and like actually moved back here at the, you know, being able to spend the last six months really like all day, every day with him, and um, and have all these memories too, like between the stuff I have on my phone and you know Victor back in 2018, filmed us a lot, and Tony for about three years. I mean, I'd like to, you know, we talked with his brother. Like I know Sean wanted to do a, a second, second documentary, so we're gonna look into that, see what we can do with this. Definitely something we want to do. Uh, also, I just call people watching this and who are like ordering uh, some of Sean's merchandise because I've seen his phone just blowing up. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're working right now. His brother uh, normally gonna keep you know uh, his merchandising alive, but right now we're trying to recover the access to the website and all that stuff so we can fulfill all these orders. But it might take some time. I don't even know if we'll be able to, but we're working on it. So yeah, be patient and, um, and it, I mean, there'll, be, there'll be stuff for sure. Good for you, man. I'm really glad you're taking it. Um, the way you do because it's not it's not easy you know we all cared for him of course and seeing him every day but Chris I want to talk to you a little bit because you know you you guys uh, had a little bit of a falling out and um, actually I think Jay had told me that possibly you guys are going to start working together again so I don't know if I told Jay or not if you had told him <laughs> he always knows everything first <laughs> well uh, I was at a big show I had like 18 people on the show and uh, Jay was there I got a chance to hang out with Jay and uh, Chris Aceto and Jay are very similar in their delivery. So Jay leans over and says, why don't you get back with Sean? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like him. <laughs> and like, and uh, Jay is like a mentor of mine and uh, Chris Aceto as well. Whenever I have an issue, you know, they always guide me in the right direction and they've been wrong and I kind of contemplated it. And and I came out here at the Grand Open of Flex and Sean came up to me and said, hey man, we're boys. And then instantly came up and I said, well, boys fight sometimes. How are you doing, Sean? And it was just like, it was like released. It was like released and stuff. And ever since then, uh, Sean and Stan and myself have been texting, you know, this, that. And Sean was checking on me and stuff like that. So I actually was going to surprise him and drop in here. And I had planned that. And, uh, because I missed the Olympia, Sean had texted me, so you're coming to Olympia, which means come to the Olympia with Sean. Okay. Like he, won't, he won't ever like make you do something, he'll say, suggest it. And, uh, you know, um, we were good, but I just wish I could have seen him I know. one more time and really been actually where it is. And I think that's what hit me so hard, because we were not, we were 90%, but I, I'd rather be 100%. So when uh, I found out, I rushed over here with Stan, and like, I'm here I show you for the backstory, like, uh, Chris was one of the first person I called, but he didn't even ask why. I, I never, I never ask why. I just, <laughs> I just do what I'm told. I was but it bothered me. His family and uh, yeah, we, we, I got, we're trying to get into Sean's phone, and I had lost some phone numbers, like with um, an email account that was deleted. I lost some of my contacts, so I asked a uh, call psycho, and uh, it was like maybe midnight. Yeah. And uh, he was just trying to make sure I got the, I was able to reach the person I was trying to contact, and. Uh, he didn't ask nothing, and then the next day, you know, when he, I was like, he's like, so was, you, go, you good? He texted me later, like, he, he was like, you good? I was like, I don't know how to say it. He was like, no, but you were able to reach the person you were trying to reach. I was like, yeah. Yeah, and later on, we just called, and he was like, he never imagined what was happening, but. No, actually, I did now. Yeah. You know, when Stan doesn't call me at midnight ever, <laughs> and when he called me, your voice was really, really calm, and, and I think I heard 
somebody in the background and and he asks for information and I'm the kind of person he asks for information, I give you information, I don't try to ask for anything else. And uh, but the phone call didn't sit right with me. And uh, it just didn't sit right and I didn't sleep and I went to the gym and then when I came out the gym I got a call. And then then I called Stan and confirmed it. It was really hard. It was, it was really, really hard. It wasn't like that. And then uh, this is the first time I could actually talk about it without actually crying. But uh, unexpected, uh, too soon, and Sean did not do everything he was intended to do on this planet. And, but with Stan and myself and his friends, we really want to keep this legacy going, fulfill this legacy. And we want to shoot another documentary or something like that to let people know who Sean really was. Because people always think they know Sean. They really, really don't know Sean and how generous he was and how kind he was and how funny he was. Yeah, he take he's kind of like this hard shell uh, that takes time to get through. But once you get through on the right. other side, he's completely different. He's completely different. Right? Yeah, he comes out. Yeah, he comes out some very quiet So serious person. and shy and yeah. doesn't say much, kind of observe all the time. Yeah. He reminds me of Jay a lot. Jay's like that too. Mm -hmm. Jay's a goofball, but most people don't know him that way. Yeah. What I liked, there, one thing I liked about Sean, you said about Jay, you know how Jay goes to expos and he stands there and talks to everybody for as long as they need to be. So Sean was the same way. Like he, would, he would give his time. And people, somebody said, well, why wasn't he prepping people? Sean was prepping people for free. Yeah. He was rubbing people for free. He wasn't charging people. He got many people ready for shows. I mean, phone calls, all this stuff, and people oh, yeah. People don't people don't know that he was helping people. He just wasn't charging. People. Yeah. Well, I mean, we had uh, my friend Pushpena was here. Yeah. Help us, you know, pose, helped. He was always helping someone. Yeah, always. Was like women's bodybuilding. Like yeah. Everybody, everybody. Yeah. If you could help, he would never ask for anything. It just, yeah. it just that's how much he loved the sport and like. Helping people, people you know what I'm really glad though this past week um, I just really saw people um, saying a lot of good things about him yeah. and that was to me that was great I didn't say much because I don't feel like I don't know Everybody's just, different. it's different everyone's yeah. to react different you know but I was able to read a lot of things and and um, I think it comes a little too late I think people should have you know told him that before I think people appreciate him now more than before, but I guess that happens a lot when, when something like that happens. But I was just really glad to see um, so many good things being said about him, for the most part, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah except for I think one person who... Yeah, we all know. Yeah. <laughs> who that but, is? Yeah. Well, like I said before, and, and, I, and Stan would attest this, because Stan was closer to Sean than myself. If you're, jealous, if you're mad at Sean, it's because you're jealous. You're just really jealous. Or you want to be in a place in his life and he hasn't allowed you to do that. Sean doesn't give you any ammunition to to speak bad about him. He, he just doesn't do it. He's so laid back and so given and so even he won the Olympia, he was just still the same person. Like he didn't he didn't change him at all. He didn't become Hollywood or larger than life or an icon. He just did the work and, and it happened and he wanted to do it again. But he wasn't uh arrogant type of person and like he didn't do that and so like he was driving a nissan Sentra, you know for i remember years, i remember years, that like, yes he didn't, he didn't buy new clothes he didn't he didn't have special watches none of that stuff everything was for his family you know but he owned real estate and stuff like that so people say he was very smart with his money you know he, he, he didn't he didn't blow his money he didn't do that uh, no, I would, yeah. Like going through his clothes, he's got the same clothes for like the last 10, 15 years. He was still wearing FUBU! Sean was still wearing FUBU! Like he didn't care! Like he didn't I care! Know. He liked the shirt, he still wore it. But he didn't, you know, he didn't have Gucci and Louis Vuitton. And, like, Very he, simple. He was just simple. a simple guy. Yeah. He was just, just a, don't worry, he was, he was just a guy from Jamaica. Yeah. Just a kid from Jamaica that yeah. just happened to be the best in the world or something. Always late. Yeah, yeah that's always him. Late. Just <laughs> late back. He just laid back. That's him. <laughs> But, you know, you got to love him for that. You know, just for his, but. The last time I filmed with him on the newbie, I actually begged him. I said, Sean, we have the gym closed from 12 to 1. Please be on time. Yeah. I'm begging you to be on time. He says, oh, I'll be there at 11.30. <laughs> and he was right on time at 12 o'clock. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah. I know that one time he was on time, too. It was when we did the interview about six weeks out from the Olympia with Jay. Yeah. No, he was late. He was late? Yes, a few <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Yeah, Jay didn't think he was going to show up. I said, I'm telling you he's going to show up. It was so but great, though. But he showed up though. before Jay, no? 
No, we were there. Robert. Yeah, <laughs> he was just not that much late for him. Yeah. You can't even count it. Yeah. I think it was like 20 I mean, minutes and stuff. But it was. So, I've watched it like recently on interview because for some reason all those old videos are popping up for some on the channel. Oh, you can yeah. see what people are watching. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing because you watch the videos and go, you know, it's not just a video. It's some of his videos it make it makes you feel like it did when you first saw it. It actually takes you back. And, and Sean was able to, to use a lot of words without speaking. Stuff yeah. Well, we miss him. Um, glad I really, I'm really, I'm really gra glad you came today. I guess Chris, I appreciate you telling me. I'm glad that because you're leaving tomorrow, so you weren't here yeah, very I'll long. Leave tomorrow, you know. But if Stan, if, uh, Stan doesn't leave, I'll pop back in and help yeah. get ready for a show. Well, That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. We'd uh, love to have you on the channel. Congratulations on the gym. We will be there for the grand opening. I can't wait. And then uh, Stan, good luck with your show, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely do my best. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks, Dave. All right.